Hello YouTube, this is the video you've all been waiting for. This is going to be a unboxing and a review of part 4 and 5 of the Doctor Who figurine collection. Okie dokie, so let's get stuff out. Okay, here we have Silurian figure from Cold Blood and it's part 5, so I'll put that down there. Here we have part four's figure, it's a weeping angel from Flesh and Stone. Okay, I will explain what this mystery white package is in a minute. But, and here are the magazines. And that's the shell of the box. Okie dokie. Let's go and crack on with the magazine first. This is part four, Weeping Angel. It's Eleven Doctor Story, and the story is Flesh and Stone. Inside you get your figurine, Weeping Angel, Angels of Death. The year is 1965. History course, your questions answered, and Russell T. Davis. Okay, so that's the magazine. I'm not going to open it up because if you want to have more information, then get the collection yourself. This is just kind of a review of it. And then next week, it's part five, Silurian Warrior. I think that these are pretty well made. There you are, a quick flick for you. Okay, part five, Silurian Warrior, Cold Blood, another 11th Doctor story. Or Homo Reptilia. There you are. Okay, you've got your figurine, so it's all about Solorian Warrior. Going Underground, 1965 Part 2, Regeneration, your questions answered, and People Who, and we've got William Hartnell, and I will show you that page. Ooh, look, content. And next week, well, next time. In my case, maybe two weeks' time. I'll probably get six and seven. Dalek. The last Dalek. And... Torchwood. Ninth Doctor Story. Woo! Some Christopher Eccleston. Okay, here we go. There he is, William Hartnell. Man who led the way. First Doctor. Okay. So that's the magazines. Still really good quality. I appreciate and understand why they're doing the 11th Doctor first, because he's the current Doctor, well, till the end of this year. Sorry if that's spoiling anybody, but everybody should know that Peter Capaldi is becoming the 12th Doctor this Christmas. Um, so let's get on to the figurines. Let's start with the Weeping Angel figure. So we've got the lovely box. I really like the display things that they come in. It's been really well thought through box, BBC logo at the top, bump at the bottom. Let's get it out. And let's see. Whee! Okay. The figure is pretty weighty. Wings are plasticky or metallic-y resiny, but the wings are definitely lighter than the actual main figure. You can tell that. Oh, look. Ooh, the beast. Weeping Angel and Metallic Thing and L1. LL145. Hey, this is designated number. Little hexagon base there. But it is weighty. Um, I like the detail. There's some nice chips and dents on her, which makes the angel look like a well, well long lived angel but not crumbly, but just dented. Quite an angry expression there. Don't know if you can see that. Sorry, camera's rubbish. Hoping to get a new one for Christmas. But it is weighty. Uh, people have said that the it could perhaps have had more of a wash on it. Perhaps they could have done a little black wash on it, or a light one, because it is pretty much grey. But... Apart from that, it is a pretty decent figure. 
not to be sniffed at. <sighs> yeah, I think we're going to have to treat her wings very carefully and her arms because I can see this figure perhaps breaking the wings and the arms as soon as they start sort of, you know, trying to hold things up or lift, you know, things, anything with the part sticking out. I mean, the same could be said of first of the first figure, the 11th Doctor, his finger, it could easily break off because he's pointing like this. Same could be said of the Weeping Angel, her main things, I think this figure is at risk of damaging its wings and possibly its arms and maybe its tongue because it's dangling out. But, but overall, a nice figure. Shame about the white denting on the thing. But hey, it did come in the post. Oh, just so you know, the background is my lovely Doctor Who collage. Just thought you'd like to see that. And there's the infamous fiddly binder. And there's the figurine collection magazine. Guide to the series. Which I think is a really helpful thing that they've done. There we go. Put them in nice order. There we are. For people who like order. There you go. Let's, get, let's have a look at this Silorian figure. Okay. Same plastic bit. Five Silurian Warrior. Why does it say Cold Blood there? That's because the story is Cold Blood. And I have mentioned that. Okay. Let me get the figure out. Here we go. This is a lighter figure, a much lighter figure than Davros and the Angel, because at the moment, the Angel and Davros are my heaviest figures, followed by Cyber Controller, and my lightest. Well, even Matt Smith, the 11th Doctor, is pretty weighty. This is pretty light, so the Silurian Warrior is actually the lightest figure. Um, got some nice details there, turn it around. Sit, put it on the floor. Top view. Some really nice details on this one. I think this one's had some really nice working on it. Yeah, like the mask. Yeah, bottom. O A nine seven O. Yeah, quite nice. Yeah. This is a good figure. And I like the fact that they've actually used oh, different colours for the green of the back of the head. So you've got darker and lighter greens. It is. It's a good paint job. Yeah, it does. It looks nice. So that's that figure. It's the lightest one so far. Put it back in there. So there we go. Just get them in order. Oh, hey. There you are. Figurines in order for you. Yep. Magazines. I will then wrestle with the fiddly binder to get them in. Here we go. What is this white package? Okay. Warning! Display plinth. Not designed or intended for play by children. Because it is pretty heavy. You could do some serious damage with that if it got dropped on your toe or even your head. Oh look, the address! Very nice. There we go. Oh, and lovely made in China. Quality goods. <laughs> or not, as the case may be. No, this collection's pretty decent, actually. There we go. I have removed the annoying... Um, it did come wrapped in some tissue. I did take that off. Hey, look, me wrestling with a... Uh, sorry about that. Here we go. Polystyrene, two bits. Okay, here it is. The back does come with four little round things in the corners. It is heavy ish. Not quite sure what it's made of though. I'm going to knock on it. I'm not quite sure. Whether it's wood or metal, maybe it's both, I'm not quite sure, but it is waiting. We've got one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten spaces for figures. So if we got them all out and stuck them on, it would look something a bit like this. Yeah. Park Davros there. There we go. That's it. So it would look something like that. But obviously you take them out. But I'm not going to do that because I kind of like the um, little individual protective packaging that they come in. I think that they're really, really sweetly packaged for longevity. But this is a lovely display base. This is the free one that you get. I have not subscribed to get all of them because I think 14.99 for this is a bit much really. 6 99 for a binder, yeah that's expensive but you kind of need the binders to protect your magazines. But these, do you really need them when they come in these beautiful boxes? No. And I'm getting the, um, I'm getting the, um, I'm a premier subscriber so I'll be getting a second base for the fancy smancy Daleks when they come after every sort of like 10. Because um, there's going to be 80, um, parts to this collection and how it works with the um, premier subscription you get the special base not like this it's a different color and some, i think it's in here somewhere Ooh. somewhere it is somewhere over the rainbow no it's not no you get um there's going to be seven rare daleks and you get one of those after every 10 issues. They send you out one of these rare Daleks. And then I'm guessing that they must send you the base last. So you can stick them on. So I'll have two bases anyway. I don't see the need in having another load of these bases. Because they really are dust collectors, as my mother would say. And these little bags protect the figure. Keep it nice and safe. You know. They're really quite nice, actually. Why get rid of those? Just stick them on here, and then, you know, your three-year-old knocks them over. Ooh, or whatever. So, um, yeah. So this has been the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I will post more when I hear more. But I think this is a great collection. And I'm just letting you know. Sorry for the long video. Bye, guys.